Hey YouTube, this is Redskin Amusement Park Fan 62. Today's video is going to be an update to a video that I previous made on California's amusement parks. Now, if you're not aware, during this time, um, a lot of the California, well, all of the California amusement parks have been closed up to the month of April. Well, um, it was announced in March, I believe, or late February, that uh, California parks could open up starting Mar um, April 1st. So, both of the Six Flags parks in California have opened. Now, they're at a 25% capacity as of this recording. Um, now, um, you have to be for all these parks as of now, except for a couple, which I'll get to, um, you have to be a California-based residence to go to these parks. Now, I'm not sure on Six Flags' policy for this. Um, if you want to go to Magic Mountain or Discovery Kingdom, you have to contact the park personally, like call them or Facebook message them or something and see what their policy is on that because I'm not entirely sure. Now, the next thing is um, Universal Studios and Disney. Universal Studios has opened up. It opened up on April 16th only to California residents only as of now. Um... I think they're at a 25% capacity as well. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. Now, Legoland has opened up April 16th as well, along with Universal Studios. Um, now, they're, I'm not entirely sure their capacity. I would assume it's probably... 25% as well. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I'm also, I'm not entirely sure if you have to be a Cal, uh, if you can, if you can go, if you're from out of state as well. Um, now, um, Disney opens up this week. Um, on April 30th, you have to be a California based resident uh, to get in. Um, and lastly, uh, and the last two are uh, SeaWorld and Knott's Berry Farm. Um, SeaWorld <coughs> is open as well as of now. Um, you can be a California based resident. Also, they are talking about doing. If you're fully vaccinated um, uh, from out of state, you can go as long as you show your vaccination card. Um, how other parks are doing that sort of thing, I'm not entirely sure as of now, just because I'm not sure how they're handling that sort of thing. Um, and lastly is Knott's Berry Farm. Knott's Berry Farm is open, but it's only for like um, food and merchandise and stuff like that. Um, as of this recording, they will open up the rides on May 21st um, um, at a reduced capacity as well, um, like they have been through this entire event. Now, please know if you go to any of these parks, um, even including Disney and Universal, um, to really support these parks the best you can because these parks have been closed for around 13 months. Um, now Six Flags, they are roughly 25 days in, so they have had some hiccups on things, but they are adjusting to these. So, give these parks some time when you go. Um, <clears throat> also, this video is for Alpha Traveler 1. Um, so, if you see this, let me know what you think. Um, 
and uh, support these parks the best you can.